Hello and welcome to an all new Marvel cast, Explosion Network's hub of all things Marvel, a place to talk about everything MCU and beyond from Avengers and Defenders to Blackjack O'Hare and Wal Russ. My name's Ashley Hobley and join me today at the Astonishing Don Blight. Uh, I'm going to be here talking about the upcoming Guardians film. The last one. We assume. Yes. We Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Marvel dropped a trailer during the Super Bowl. Uh, we're here to talk about it, of course. This is directed by James Gunn. Uh, written by James, starring all our lovable Guardians, including Chris Pratt, Dave Bautista, Karen Gillan, Pom Clementife, uh, Vin Diesel, Bradley Cooper, and Zoe Saldana. I'm going to tell you something. I'm Star-Lord. I formed the Guardians. Met a girl, fell in love. And that girl died, but then she came back. <laughs> came back a total dick. Oh, please. He left out some important information, but that is the gist of it. I get the same old dreams, same time every night. Fall to the ground and I wake up. My sacred mission is to create the perfect society. He didn't want to make things perfect. He just hated things the way they are. Uh, this trailer, we get a little bit more of a look at the higher evolutionary, um, kind of exploring who's going to be the big bad this film, a little bit more of his motivation and that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, Dylan, what did you think of the trailer, this new trailer for Guns of Galaxy Volume 3? Yeah, I thought it looked really good. It's it's still got the, I guess, it has the fun Guardians tone, but there's just something a bit more serious about it, I guess. Like, it, t- it just feels more it does have that finale feel about it all the way everything in the trailer plays out um it's 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 both looping back to before the first film with what's happening with rocket and like his tie-in to the current villain i guess while also seemingly wrapping things up for these characters at least as they are for this one i feel like someone's gonna die surely yeah they're clearly setting it up (laughs) Um, in the marketing, at least, that somebody is not going to make it to the end of the, the trailer and the way they're talking about things and the way it kind of wraps up with, um, we'll I take one last ride into the yonder or whatever. Um, yeah. I think it's a fantastic trailer. Um, I think it's interesting. Obviously, like I said, they're introducing the higher evolutionary and kind of explaining him, him not liking how things are about the world and wanting to change things and him being behind... Uh, Rocket becoming Rocket. Uh, of course, cute little baby Rocket we see in this trailer, uh, laughing and then with his uh friend Lyra, Lila, whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, obviously, uh, I think the other key thing is we get to see New Gamora <laughs> for the first time. I think since mm. the end of Endgame, I just don't think she really appeared in the last trailer. Um, I don't think so either. No. So yeah, just uh, <laughs> Peter recapping their love story <laughs> and then saying then she came back as a dick <laughs> yeah. very funny um but also then nebia's like it's true he kind of left out some major things but it's kind of what he's saying is true <laughs> yeah <laughs> very funny um yeah lots of cool little moments i think obviously we get a little bit more of a look at adam warlock uh i think that they're going to keep the most of it for the movie i think we get glimpses of him but we don't hear him talk or like see any get any idea what side he's on because i think there's one shot where he appears to be fighting drax uh but yeah it, it definitely feels like it's going to be a final chapter they're always talking about bringing this family together and um other stuff like that i think there's some cool visual stuff there's like there's obviously the shot of them in the among us jumpsuits uh <laughs> <laughs> where they're bouncing on a flesh planet, it looks like. Because it's, it's mm. got... There's I'm like, sure little, there's like there, stray it's... hair, giant stray hairs popping out, that kind of stuff. Yeah, it, look, it looks like it's going to be a wild time. Uh, it looks like it's, that's a big part of the movie, too. There's a lot, several times they come back to stuff that's happening around that place. Yeah. What's going on there. So whether that's like the world that the higher evolutionary is working at or something, I don't know. Uh, it looks like it's going to be action-filled as well. Obviously, we get another cool shot, that cool shot of uh, Groot and 
Star Lord back to back and they're firing off a bunch of blasters. I think it's going to be super fun having buff Groot in this film. Like, obviously, a very different super to the Groot, yeah. <laughs> the other Groots we've seen so far in the MCU. Um, even though we got a little bit of him in the holiday special. Um, yeah. I'm really enjoying it. I, I really think it's a fantastic trailer. It obviously ends off with a funny <laughs> bit at the end where I guess Star Lord finally sees Nebula as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've never noticed how black your eyes are. My father replaced my eyes as a means of torture. He picked a nice color. <laughs> yeah, nice set. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, it's definitely jumping straight to the top of my list of most anticipated movies this year. Um, yeah. It's weird because, like, so I, I watch the title for this and I feel actually excited for it, whereas <laughs> we're about to go watch Ant Man. And, I, like, I'm. Uh, I'm obligated to feel excited before I guess uh, out of liking the previous films but I'd say I haven't liked any of the trailers for that, those movies um, whereas I at least liked the trailer for this and I didn't like the last one of Guardians like I didn't think 2 was very good so yeah alright I really like the music in this as well I think they hmm. integrated it very well and they did in the first trailer as well but yeah obviously James Gunn it's gonna be weird this is obviously the James Gunn's last Marvel movie <laughs> Yeah, that's the other thing. So his yeah. last Marvel he's gonna, movie. He's going to be doing press for this while working on t- the other side. It's weird. Well, it's 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 both his last Marvel movie, but also everything that went around it. Like he was fired off this, then reinstated, and uh, this movie just has so much history. Like, history around it. Yeah, obviously, all the characters have been doing stuff since his last movie. <laughs> yeah, and it's like a very long time between sequels. Yeah, in between volume Especially two and volume three. Franchise, yeah. Yeah. All right. Adam Warlock looks good. We get a few more of him in this, by the way. A few more um, Will Poulter. Yeah, but again, he does Flying really... doing stuff. Yeah. He looks gold. <laughs> yeah, there's not much else to go on. So. <laughs> no. All right. Let us know your thoughts on the latest trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 by going to explosion.com slash Twitter or jump to the Discord at explosion.com slash Discord if you want to help us out here at all new Marvelcast. Leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or on Podchaser. Leave us five stars, and you can leave five stars, or head over to explosion.com and check out our news, reviews, and other podcasts. Uh, and if you like this episode or like what we do here at All New Marvel Cast, leave us, uh, you can head over to our Kofi page at explosion.com slash support. Uh, so, Gun of the Galaxy Volume 3 coming later this year, but in just a few days, we're going to be watching Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and then we'll be talking straight about that. So, watch that movie and join us next time for another Marvel Cast.